you guys. Thanks so much for clicking on my channel with all smiles over here. I am with Sanja Slay asking the question, will Sanja help me keep a smile for today? And hopefully the answer is yes, you guys. I'm going to try not to keep it long, but y'all already know. If it gets good, I'm going to keep on talking. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. The goal next today is grow, grow, grow. But before I get to running my mouth, let's go ahead and do what? Shake up this manifestation jar, and then we're going to talk about it, okay? Let's see, let's see, let's see. And I pulled out two or three, and the first one says, what? New car, congratulations. And the next one says, wet aligned friends. We'll take that all day long. And last but not least is wet new friends. We'll take that as well. Listen, grow, grow, grow. Why? Because when you grow, you begin to wet expand. And what does expand mean? It means to wet enlarge, which means what God says what? That he will indeed enlarge our territory. The thing is, whenever we put in a request to receive from God concerning a manifestation, we are not growing in the areas that we need to grow in order to receive the new new on the next next level and what we end up doing because we haven't received the manifestation because it's taken so long we begin to put all the blame of the reasoning of why we don't have it on God and God is saying no 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 I'm here and ready to give this thing to you you're just not ready to receive you're like God I'm ready I'm ready to receive I'm ready to receive God is like no and it's because you're not growing from the situation, learning experience, trial, tribulation, hardships that you're in. What you're doing, you're sitting there, you're pouting, you're complaining, you ain't doing nothing, you ain't showing that you're faithful over the few. You know, God said, if you're faithful over the few that you have, he'll make you ruler over many, which is the exact same thing as what? Enlarging your territory. How can you be faithful over a few? First and foremost, you gotta be able to be in a state of gratitude, be thankful for what you have. Maybe you desire a bigger home because you got about four or five kids, and where you are right now, there's a two bedroom or a three bedroom you saying god i need at least a five or a six bedroom but here's the thing physical wise you ain't taking care of what you have you're not being faithful over that few you're not cleaning the house your tub looking like ring around the roses ashes ashes we all fall down it looks like that and god is saying you haven't learned how to take care of what you have right now and that's why the territory haven't been enlarged. Can, can you imagine if God give you a five, six bedroom home and you get over there? If you ain't <laughs> dealt with how to clean a smaller house, then how in the world are you going to clean a larger house, right? And maybe the situation may be that your house is thick and span. It's clean. But God is saying he wants to bless you with a home in a prestigious neighborhood. And in your mentality, where you are mentally prestigious neighborhoods are places that you don't want to be. Why? Because you're saying that's what them uppity people are. And the only reason why you calling them them uppity people is because truth be told, you're intimidated by them. And the reason why you're intimidated by the people who live in prestigious neighborhoods is because you don't see yourself as one of them. You don't see yourself worthy. You don't see yourself as deserving. And it's only because you don't know who you are at core. God has said, I want to show you how great you are, how good you are, how worthy you are, how deserving you are. But you got to get there mentally. And God is saying, where I'm placing you is going to be in this neighborhood. So get your act together and your mentality. Once you know who you are at core, you will be able to be around anybody. You'll be able to sit right next to Donald Trump and feel so comfortable. You'll be able to sit beside Oprah Winfrey and feel comfortable. You'll be able to sit beside actors and singers and people that you call celebrities and be so comfortable in your skin. Why? Because ain't nothing special about them that ain't special about you. You're just as special as they are. You are just as talented as they are. Why? Because God is resonating at core. So sometimes we can be all messed up mentality, which means what we got to grow in that area. And when we begin to grow in that area, then God will begin to release those things to us, which really he's not releasing, we're receiving because it's already available to us. A lot of things I like to tell people, a lot of times I like to tell people as well, that what you're in right now is not for the level that you're on right now. Every time God places you in a learning experience so that you can grow, whether it's by trial, tribulation, hardship, that learning experience for you to grow is always for the next level. Why? Because God always prepares you to handle the next level. God never puts you on a new level when he hasn't trained you. So if you haven't gotten to the next level, that means that you haven't learned from the training. You have got to grow in order for God to enlarge your territory. 
It doesn't matter how you look at it. Whatever you have requested of God to manifest, that's another level. You got to grow. You got to grow. And you got to ask God, God, what's next? What other lessons do I need to learn and grow in so that I can go ahead and receive it? Because God is not going to give you something you can't handle. He's not going to do it. He's not going to do it. And you know what the sad thing is? When God is saying, hey, listen, you are not going to be able to receive this until you grow. When we get tired of waiting, really we wait on ourselves to grow to get it. And what we say, we wait on God. Mm -mm, you wait on God, you wait on yourself. What we end up doing when we get tired of waiting, we'll save up our coin. Go take out a loan. Borrowing, right? And we'll say, I'm going to get it my way. I'm going to do it myself. And you'll go out and, and get the funds for it and go and purchase what you want. And what it may be the car that you want, but it may not have been the method that God wants you to get it. And what you end up finding out is that how you got it is a way that's going to cause you sorrow. It's going to cause you a lot of headache. Now, God may allow you to keep it, but <laughs> let me tell you something. Ain't nothing like getting on a video game. My son plays video games, y'all. And if I go in there and want to play Call of Duty and he hadn't trained me how to work that thing and how this work and how this operate, what buttons I need to press, if I get in there and get on his game gaming system, by the time I'm done, I have a headache. I feel like I need to go to sleep. Why? Because I wasn't trained properly. Will I be able to play on it? Yeah. But it'll leave me some serious dizzy. It was a game my husband and his brothers and stuff used to play called Quake. I had never played Quake before. I don't know if y'all know about Quake. But y'all, my husband said, hey, babe, you want to play with us? I said, oh, sure. This will be fun. This will be fun, but ain't nobody trained me. Didn't nobody train me. Didn't nobody tell me what I was supposed to do. They didn't tell me how I was supposed to move things around. And they most certainly didn't tell you that you can possibly fall out, pass out, or get dizzy, or get a headache. Because you're like, you know, if you don't know how to maneuver in the game, by the time you're done, you got a migraine. And that's exactly what happened to me because I didn't have my training. And I wasn't ready for it. I wasn't ready. She wasn't ready. Wasn't. So when God wants to enlarge your territory, he always gets you in a situation to prepare you so that you can handle the manifestation when it gets to you. In other words, handle the next level. So you got to grow. Don't just stay stagnant in that hardship. Don't just sit there and pout. Don't just sit there and complain. Say, God, this seems so hard, but I know I'm here for a reason. I'm here to receive my manifestation on the next level. Get me through this. Show me how I'm supposed to maneuver in this. Which means, well, you got to give God the reins. You got to allow him to lead. You got to know who you are at core, right? And when God begins to lead within you, he'll start showing you and giving you clarity on how to maneuver within that trial tribulation so that you can go ahead and grow. And when you begin to grow, then where? You can what? Indeed receive. You'll be able to receive. You'll be able to receive. It's almost as if somebody leaves you some money when they die. And in the will they put, I had left you $20 million. But you can only receive this $20 million when you have done this, that, and the other. And you're there and you're going, oh, I got $20 million. Yeah, you do. You do. And you want it now. And they say, uh-uh. You got to do these things. Because they know that if you do these particular things, then you will be well prepared to handle it. But some of y'all don't want to go through the process of growing so that you can receive. It's there waiting for you. It's, it has always been there waiting for you. You just got to grow so that you can receive. Grow, 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 grow. God wants to expand your territory. But he's not going to expand that bad boy until you what? Have grown. And when you learn the lesson, have grown, you'll be able to graduate to receive. And on that new level, you'll be well prepared to handle it. It will not be overwhelming for you. That's why some people say, you know what? Oh, they in sorrow. That's what God say. He, don't, he won't give you anything to add sorrow, which means well, he's not going to put you in a position to where you haven't been properly trained. And that's how you'll know that you stepped out of order to fulfill a thing. Is when it seems like sorrow is there. That's because you try to take the shortcut. God wants you to take particular steps in your journey 
so that you can grow properly to receive your manifestation. And you'll be able to handle that bad boy. You will. You will. You will. I hope y'all got this thing. But if you didn't, rewind and watch again. But in the meantime, in between times, if you take just a little bit of what I'm telling you and apply to your life to the best of your ability, you won't ever, 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 ever have to mask a smile. Why? Because your smiles will always be genuine. I'll talk to y'all soon. Be blessed, be blessed, be blessed, be blessed, be blessed. Y'all know what's coming next. Ciao.